You're hurling final at Croke Park this afternoon and in the end it was Galway's day with a 26 points win to Waterford's two goals and 17 points. We'll have the match report and analysis later. But first now I'm joined from Waterford by our reporter Helen McInerney and Helen it wasn't on Beisha's day today. Unfortunately no Kate. Huge disappointment here in Waterford this evening. The Waterford fans believed that this was their year after 58 years and right up until the very end of the match they thought it would happen but it wasn't to be. Most of the families have dispersed now but some are still here and they're positive in their defeat and they say next year is another year. Expectations were high among the Waterford supporters this afternoon as they gathered in the Apple Market in the centre of Waterford City to watch the match on the big screens. There's no, there's no talking about it. We're the champions today and we're bringing home to Lee McCarthy. Oh, I don't know. They're a good team, but we're going to have a... We've waited a long time now, so we're definitely going to have a... This, this one, we could only get two tickets and my son, I thought... I'd let him go because it's history, you know. You're worried about those Galway guys. Ah, sure we are, yeah, but sure we've been here before, you know. We'll, we'll, we'll have it today, won't we? We're going to win by two goals, two points. Up to Daisha. Love the county, boy. You're not <laughs> With just one point between the teams at half time, the crowd in Waterford felt it was still all to play for. Tight game at the moment, but I still think Waterford will win it by two or three points. It was edge of the seat stuff for the Waterford fans as the final minutes ticked away. I can barely watch the game. <laughs> and then it was all over. It was a great game. It was actually an unbelievable game. It's huge disappointment for the younger children. You know, but they done their best. I'm a proud of them. It's the first 10 minutes, maybe. You know, that's our look. We're proud of them. They did well. Come on, the nation. Well, but for every winner, there has to be a loser. In this case, it is Waterford. We understand some 15,000 supporters in the Dacia County lined out to welcome back Derek McGrath's side. Of course, in Waterford, they're left to experience very different emotions. They were looking to bridge a long gap going back to 1959. But alas, it was uh, not to be for Waterford. So